Howdy folks. Today in this video we're going to go over workspaces in Terraform. So as we've talked about before the way Terraform manages all the infrastructure is with state and state files. So by default you always just have one basic set of state. But with workspaces you can actually have multiple sets of state. So you can have like the same configuration file but you can have multiple sets of state, meaning you can just you can just take the same file and have one server set up for it, which is stored in one set of state files, and you can also have another uh, server set up or infrastructure set up with a different set of state files. So, a good example might be you know you might have a dev environment and a prod environment. You know those those resources might be almost very like similar and identical, where you can just use the same configuration file, but you want to use different state. Or, or, so essentially, if you have a dev environment, you don't want to you don't want to modify the the dev environment for prod, and you don't want to modify the prod environment for dev. And it allows you state uh, workspaces allow you to you know have your main configuration, and then maybe you make big changes, and you want or and you want to test those changes, but you don't want to affect your production environment. So like, like say, take this as an example. So, so let's say this is, was our production environment and that we already had our, our infrastructure and our instance and resources created, but maybe we make some changes and we don't want to modify, you know, production yet, but we want to modify, you know, just test this out on like a staging environment. So we can create a, a new workspace for this. And and to test out changes. And workspaces are a little bit confusing, and I was very confused when I first started it, so I'm gonna get into some examples, and hopefully uh, what I was confused on, you won't be confused on. So the example I'm gonna kinda give is, is we're gonna create a dev environment and a prod environment, but we're gonna use the same exact config file for that, and we're gonna pass in just different variables. The Terraform docs talk about workspaces as like git branches, which, which is definitely like correct. Um, I, 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 I was a little confused at that because it's not completely tied to like a version control. So I was a little bit confused. So hopefully this de this using a dev and a prod uh, example here will, will make the, the uh, workspaces set in a little bit better for you and, and how you actually use them. So, so let's get started. So by default, we've actually always been working with workspaces. You know, Terraform actually, when you start and create a new project, you have a default workspace, which everything is stored in there. So what you can actually do with workspaces is you have you have certain commands on the CLI. So you can do Terraform workspace um, list. And Terraform workspace list will show you all of the workspaces that you currently have in this configuration. So we're in our, our setups main here. So right now we just have a default. So always, before you even get started on anything, you always have this default and that's just what you're always working on. But you can have, you can have more, more workspaces that store your, store your state. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two workspaces. I'm gonna have a dev workspace and a, and a prod workspace. So we'll have, you know, our, de our dev, you know, uh, instances inside of AWS are going to be completely separate from our production instances in AWS. And this is what the workspace too is it just allows you to have that same configuration for, for multiple places, you know, so you, you could you could use modules inside of workspaces if you want, it's just, it, it's up to you on your best the way you need to architect your specific needs. But let's let's create our dev and our prod uh, workspaces and the way we can do that is terraform workspace so everything is just terraform workspace and then the, the command so we can do uh, new let's do prod and it says switch to workspace so now you've switched to prod so if we do list now we have two workspaces prod and default and prod is selected by default you can see the asterisk there but let's create our, our dev as well. All right, so now we have a prod and dev um, done, and, and we're, we're sitting underneath the dev. 
And for the most part, if you're going to use workspaces, you're going to want to make make the, this um, your configuration dynamic. So right now we've hard-coded our AMI and our instance type and our name and our region. Well, you're probably going to want, you might not want to have that, you know, hard code depending on what you want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pass in some things to our, our main configuration. So then, you know, we can set, we can set uh, different variables for depending on if we're in dev or if we're in prod. So for one, let's do region. Let's, 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 let's grab our region from a variable and we'll need to define these in our, our variables file. Let's do region, and then let's do um, uh, I'm going to comment that out because I like, can use the AMI a little bit later. We're going to do AMI, let's do var.ami, so we'll pass that in, and then we'll also, let's pass in the instance type. Var instance type. And then let's also pass in the name. You know, we don't want to, we want to make sure we, we like define this as like dev or prod. And what we can do is let's, let's define a local to do this. But what we can do is, you know, let's just put like, you know, instance name. And if you were doing a real world scenario, like we're doing, this is very basic. We're just doing an instance. You're going to have a full configuration file of all of this, like your, you know, your web server. You might have a security group, subnet, VPC, and all this. I'm just doing a very, very basic example on all this. So keep that in mind. But instance name. But what with with when we when you're working with workspaces, you have access to that workspace name. So most of the time, when you do work with workspaces, to make sure that all of your infrastructure is uniquely identified. And you don't get run into like duplicates. You can you can specify you can grab the Terraform, uh, Terraform. Dot workspace variable here. So now what that's going to do is that's going to output either if we're in dev it's going to be dev. If we're in prod it's going to be prod. So let's do that and then let's just do like instance. So now we have a locals there, and then let's replace this name with local dot instance name. So now our our instances are going to be named, you know, uh, dev dash instance or prod dash instance, depending on what workspace we're working in, and then our region will be whatever we pass in. All right, so let's let's define these variables. So let's create our variables tf file. And let's see. And if you actually look here, we haven't ran anything, but since we've created a new workspace, as you see as Terraform state.d file, whereas before our Terraform, our state files would just be uh, JSON files inside this, our main directory here. But since we're doing workspaces, it creates a, a new folder structure to store our actual, um, our state there. So you can kind of see how it's separating it out already. All right, so let's do. Um, what do we want to do next? Let's let's define our variables. All right, I'm going to define these. I will, as I define these, I will skip ahead um, the 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 video since you guys should know how to define the variables and you don't need to waste time watching me do that. All right, so we've got our variables uh, defined here. So now what we want to do is we want to, we need to be able to pass in our, our variables when we create these, when we, when we run like Terraform reply. So if you recall from previous videos, there's a few different ways you can, you can set variables. You can do a, um, we're going to, let's, let's make this terraform.tf vars. So you can add values for TF vars here if you want. I'm not going to add any right now, but depending on what you, how big your setup is, you'll probably want to do that. But you can also pass in variable. You can pass in these variables through the command line if you wanted to. You know, so you could do. So let's just do. We're in Terraform. You can do Terraform Workspace Show. 
which will just show the exact current workspace we're in. So we're working in our dev, our dev environment. So right now, since we're in workspace dev, we won't. This is not going to touch production whatsoever. Um, it's completely isolated to the dev. We're using the same config files, but it's completely isolated to dev. But one way we can we can pass in these variables. So if we run, let's just run Terraform apply. We'll need to do init. Let's do Terraform init first. All right, Terraform init. So now if we run Terraform apply, it's going to ask us some, for some variables. So we have all that. Like we can enter in enter them in through the CLI, but we don't want to do that. That's that's not good practice. But so one way we could do is, you know, we could do var and we could specify them on the command line if we wanted to. That's perfectly valid. But what I'd like to do is I would like to create a a new variable file for our prod environment and our dev environment. So we can have two different files for that. And then we can when we run our apply, we just specify which which configuration file we want. So then our entire configuration is just defined in a variables file. So let's create a, um, let's call it dev.tf vars. And let's do a, a prod.tf vars. All right, so let's, let's, let's add some data to these. So let's say in dev, we want to work in US West 2 for the region, but our production, we want to work in like US East 1. So we can con completely control that now from our variables. So let's define our region, AMI, and instance type inside of each of our, our, our var, var files. So for dev, let's do, and we've gone over this the, on how to specify a TF vars file and all this. So I'm not gonna go in, into that, but if, you need, if you're not sure on how this actually works, there's a previous video that you can watch for the, how input variables work. Um, so you, if you need to go watch that and then come back. But region will do, you know, US West two for dev. And then AMI, we're gonna do, I think I commented out here. We'll just, we'll just grab this AMI here. And then we need instance type. Let's just do T2 dot, you know, medium. Maybe that's all we need for, for product or for development. So we have that. So this is our dev configuration. So when we actually do Terraform apply, we can specify this, these variables for, for this configuration. But let's specify our production and variables as well. So let me go to prod, let me just copy and paste this, but instead of US West 2, let's do US East 1. And then I need an AMI from US East one. Let me, let me find one. So let me just copy this. And then, and then maybe for, um, you know, production, we want to have, you know, T, T2 large, we want to have a bigger instance, you know, so, so you see how we're specifying, we're going to use this same configuration file, but we're just, we're going to specify what, what we want by using different workspaces and different variable files. All right. So we've got our prod and conf our prod and our dev variables defined. So let's, um, Let's create one of these. So right now we're in dev. So we want to, let's create our dev environment. So our dev environment is going to go to US West 2, because we've defined that. So we can do Terraform, apply, and we're going to specify a var file. And we're going to do dev.tf vars. And like this terraform.tf vars, you know, that will get automatically loaded, but the, the, the dev.tfrs and the prod.tfrs will not get automatically loaded. So we can specify that here that, you know, when we're in dev, let's, let's load the variables from here. So if we run that, see if we have any syntax errors or anything like that. So that's good. So everything looks good there. So let's just do yes. 
All right, so that's created. So if we go to our interface, we should see our dev instance here, hopefully. All right, so we do. So this is our dev dash instance, and that's because we specify the name here as as the Terraform workspace, which is dev, since that's where we're in. So perfect. So now we have our dev dash instance, and then let's go to US East one, and you can look, and we shouldn't have any instances here, and we don't. But let's 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 create our our uh, our prod instance now. And let's switch to our workspace by doing Terraform workspace select prod. So now we're in our prod. So let's just verify. Uh, Terraform. So now we're in. Now we're in prod. So now let's let's run our. Um, production. So let's do Terraform or production setup. Terraform apply var file. So now instead of doing dev.tf vars, let's do prod.tf vars. And I'm just going to do auto approve. And this will take a, a minute. All right, so that's great now. So now we should see we should see our prod instance inside of US East 1. And we do. So we have prod instance here. So perfect. And then let's go let's just make sure our our development instance wasn't touched. And that looks good. So so it wasn't. So that's perfect. So let's let's um perfect cuz now you can see like how your state is stored differently. So since we're in, you know, since we're in the prod workspace right now, nothing at all happens to the dev environment. You know, because our state is stored now inside of different directories based on, on the workspace. So just to just to show you that, so let's go to you know prod and let's let's change the, the large down to a extra large. And you can see, let's just make sure, so we're in T2 medium for dev, just, we'll come back to that just to make sure that T2 medium is still there. But now let's change, let's go from a T2 large to a T2 extra large. And since we're in the prod workspace, it will do that. Just gonna run that again, and that'll take a minute. All right, so that completed. So now we should see, here we go, T2 extra large. And then now if we go to our US West, we should still see the T2 medium, if that's what we had, I think. So we still have T2 medium. So that was not touched because we were inside of the prod workspace. And so that's that's the basics of, of workspaces. Hopefully you have a better understanding on that. And it can get confusing on, on how you might structure your code. So you could actually like accomplish the same thing by just creating multiple directories, you know, in your configuration, but it's up to you on kind of what would suit your, your needs. You know, I might make another video probably on workspaces versus directory structure, uh, because, you know, we we're working in the setups. And I explained in the last video, you might have Depending, different configurations are going to be stored inside of, of, of one directory. So you might have, inside of setups, you might have like Johnny and Willy and Fubar. And then your, your configuration is based on those, those directories. But that, that'll be a different video. Uh, but make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. And I will see you in the next video.